All right, hey everybody, what's going on? We, uh, we had a little issue here. Uh, old hot water tank, about 16 years old. That's pretty good life for an old hot water tank. Um, pretty much went on the fritz and started leaking, blowing the breaker. Got my buddy John here. Say, hey, what's up, man? What's up? Awesome dude. Works for uh, what's called Lucas Plumbing. Lucas Plumbing and Heating. Lucas Plumbing and Heating in Lorraine, Ohio. Not too far from where we live, and I called around, and these guys, uh, they have deals with an amazing company, Ream, right? Yep. And we're going to put in, we're going to take out this old nasty 50, and we're going to put in a massive 85-gallon, um, and it's made out of, what's it made out of? Uh, plastic. Basically plastic. Basically plastic tank, yep. It has a lifetime warranty. Yep. I like that. Uh, initially, we thought about doing a tankless system, but the issue with that is is we have an all-electric home, runs on solar panels, and it draws so many amps, we would have had to, like, what, call the electric company and, like, had them... Yeah, get a bigger panel. Bigger panel. Like, a lot of weird stuff that we didn't want to start getting into. They're great for gas. We don't have gas. So we decided to just go with a bigger tank that had a lifetime warranty. Here's the problem. This thing is not going to fit next to the uh, furnace and heat pump in the closet we have it in. Luckily... Right next to it, we have a pantry that we really don't use. And the pantry's pretty big. The tank's pretty big, too. We're going to put the tank in the pantry, but here's the issue. The door on the pantry's too small. Even if we take off the frame, it's not going to fit. So we had the idea, this is just a really thin wall. It's not even real plywood or real uh, drywall. It's like that thin stuff in between the two closets. We're just going to cut a big hole, put the tank through this way we're gonna pass it through we're gonna put it in here and then i'm just gonna take you know like a piece of something this door's gonna be closed no one's ever really gonna go in there i'm just gonna have like the vacuum and the mop and the hot water tank in there this door's always closed because the furnace is in there you can see where the cold air intake is right there there's a furnace here there's a furnace on the other side the way they did these they put a heat pump on one side heat pump on the other side because it's a ranch and it stretches out that's the way a lot of these houses are. But anyway, we talk about that in a lot of our videos about conservation and stuff. But anyway, John's disconnecting this whole thing. We're going to take it out. We're going to reroute some of this piping. We're going to put a hole in the wall, put this giant tank in. It's going to take up pretty much this whole closet. And we're never going to have to worry about hot water again. The cool part about these is they have so much more lining in them now that it turns on way less often because it stays hot a lot longer. So you, 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 you are saving a lot of energy by putting something this in. Not quite as much as with a tankless system, but you're saving a lot more energy as compared to one of these old, old dinosaurs, right? Oh, yes. So it'll turn on less often. We're going to have a lot more hot water. We're going from 50 gallons to 85. That way, when we do all of our aquarium water changes and all that kind of stuff, you know, it's not going to use up the whole tank. Of course, here's the big 220 right on the other side there. We do a water change in that. We're using like 120 gallons. So you can't just dump freezing cold water in there. You know, those heaters can't take that. So anyway, we're going to take you along the steps here, and we'll show you kind of how this all goes and hopefully get this all done today. All right, so John's kicking butt. Here's the closet. This is where we used to have some shelves. But again, we never really used this pantry. I basically moved the food to some other cabinets because we don't even use all our cabinets in the kitchen. So he tore this right out. We're going to be able to fit this awesome brand-new big um, water tank hot water tank through that closet into this closet and then what I'll do is I'll just get like a big old piece of plywood kind of cover that up I might run a new stud down in here we only had to really take one out in the middle um, and then one over here on the side so not a big deal again it's just a closet two closets I'm gonna cover that up and it's really not gonna be a big deal so that wasn't too bad huh John no it wasn't too bad no electrical needed move none of that kind of stuff this big electrical cord that's hanging was the one that went to the tank, and we're just going to take that through to the other side. We, it looks like we might not even have to extend it. That's, that's the goal. That would be beneficial. And so, hey, we're getting there. We'll show you another step here in a minute. All right, dude, so here's the hole. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Oh, it's a big one. We're never going to run out of hot water. So would you say the lining on a tank like this as compared to the tank we had removed is like twice as thick, 
three times thicker. Uh, it's about twice as thick. Twice as thick, but also the material it's made out of right. is different. Yep. Wow, look at this thing, guys. This thing is a beast. It's literally as tall as I am, and I'm 6'1". <laughs> look at this thing. So we're going to go in and up. That's where the old one was. Look at that thing, man. That, you could fit inside of there, dude. Yeah. It's gonna take up like the whole closet. Wow, that's crazy, huh? She's a big boy. That is awesome, man. All right, so John's running the, looks like the wire's gonna reach, so that's awesome. Running the pipes up around. They're coming out right here, so that's awesome. What the heck is that thing, dude? Looks like an alien gun or something. Yep, it's a ProPress gun, uh, it's battery operated. That's freaking awesome. Uh, jaws open up, take a fitting, it's got O-rings in there, and you put it in the jaws and push the button, and it crimps it, and it seals the uh, water with the O-ring, so it's a non-solderless, no flame, uh, real safe way to put in water lines. And totally there. little battery like that yep. runs that big huge gun. Little battery. That's freaking awesome. Yep. Look at all the cool toys you got over here, man. Gotta have them. So that's the new... Um, Cold water supply. That's the new thing going all the way over there. Super cool going through the wall. Gonna have this done uh, probably uh, way earlier than we thought. Yeah. Wasn't as hard as we thought it was gonna be, huh? Not too bad. Super cool. Yeah, check out these tanks. So the tank is warranty for life. The parts are warranty for 10 years, but John was just explaining to me that like if an element goes bad, it's fairly inexpensive, like 20 bucks. What would the labor be on something like that, like one hour time? About an hour's time, yeah. So what's that boil down to? Uh, depending on the company, probably around 100 bucks. So for 120 bucks, if 10 years from now, if the element goes bad, that's a lot cheaper than paying a couple grand for a new tank. Yep. So that's pretty neat. So yeah, check out Reem, man. Totally awesome. This is called a marathon tank. Made by Reem. Are they the only ones that make these? Uh, as far as I know, yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Everything goes through the concrete. Mm -hmm. So everything comes up in here. And then what'd you do here? Uh, I put two isolation valves. Uh, cool. They're going to be the supply and the feed from the tank. Um, just so you can service the tank and still have water to the rest of the house. Right, awesome. So. And they're going to come up around, yep. go up through to the other room. And I'm just going to get a big, huge... You know, piece of uh, either wood or drywall or something I'll find, and I'll just cover this hole. They're both going to be in closets, so you're never really going to notice them anyway. And they're certainly not structurally necessary. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, love that gun. Love the toys. <laughs> all right, guys, there it is, all done. John did an awesome job. The wiring actually came right over to there. He put the uh, piping in, got the little uh, uh, pressure valve. We set it in the medium, which is about 120 degrees. This is an 85 commercial tank. It is plastic. It's a lifetime warranty. I'm going to register it. And so I was talking to John a little bit about how that works. So the biggest residential tank you were saying right now that they make is only like a 60 or 65. Right, and that's a steel tank. That's a steel tank. It would have a 10-year warranty. Correct. So my last tank lasted me 16, mm -hmm. which was out of warranty. Not a bad deal. Let's say that a person got a 60 or 65. First of all, they would have 20 to 25 less gallons. Correct. It wouldn't be as efficient because you wouldn't have all this lining and stuff. Right. Yep. And they might go through, in the, in the rest of my lifetime, I might go through three or four of those. Right. Yep. So it costs half as much as this, but I'd probably go through three or four of them. would end up costing me twice as much as this. Yes, if you're gonna, if you plan on staying in your house and enjoying the hot water that the tank can give you, these lifetime tanks are the way to go. 
Yeah, totally awesome. Now, if we end up selling the house somewhere down the road, it's definitely a selling point, I would say. Oh, yeah. I mean, if I was looking at a house and I saw this mamma jamma and I saw it had a lifetime warranty, that would give me incentive and say, hey, that's a good deal on that house, you know? Yeah. yeah. So either way, it's a good investment. I want to thank you, John. You did an awesome job. Totally cut everything out here. Um, Jack and I will just get something and cover this hole. But again, even if we don't, it's both in closets, so it's totally worth doing. Um, Lucas Plumbing and Heating, we're going to put a link in the description for you guys. You guys did an awesome job. We really appreciate you coming out, John. Thanks, Thanks so much. And we'll see you next time. All right. Tell everybody bye. Bye. So what do you think of new tank, dude? I think it look. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks like a cryogenesis chamber. <laughs> <laughs> kind of does, doesn't it? Or like some kind of mini submarine pot or something. And it's nice because I don't have to wait for hot water now. Yeah, you don't have to wait. Like if I take a shower, you could take one right after. Or we could actually take them at the same time. So there is a lot of benefit to it having a tank so big, and it does cost more initially, like me and John were talking about. But overall, it's gonna last forever. So it's totally cool. What are you gonna do about this? <laughs> We're gonna. I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna cover it up, dude. It'll be fine. It's, it's a closet. Who cares? It looks like a portal. Yeah. Here, let me go through this side. So yeah, ultimately. Oh no, you're supposed to stay over there. Oh. Yeah. I mean, basically, it's just one closet opening to another closet. Doesn't really matter. But ultimately, yeah, that's a super huge tank. You could fit inside of there. Like, like, it's awesome. Yeah, it's like a little pod. Maybe it is a cryogenesis. Like Cry cryogenesis button. chamber. It's like if you press the button, it's all going to come off and launch up. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of look funny, but it's awesome, dude. Well, anyway, we don't have to worry about running out of hot water anymore ever again. It's going to be awesome, and uh, hopefully it works out well. And you're going to help me patch this hole and everything. Yeah. All right? Yes. <laughs> See you later, man. Okay.